then no one's gonna know why. Everybody, Fan of Flux podcast episode two, whatever. You didn't start is. this. Yeah. I did. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm Casey. How's it going? Uh, also, we have Blush. She's gonna be a little quiet, probably. For this oh come on! <laughs> and patience over here dying at this. <laughs> they don't even. The, the audience doesn't even know it's so funny. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> just, just remove. It'll blood make, the it'll like make sense. To, it'll make sense at the start of the next reflux. Maybe. Oh, whoa. it really. Okay. Thank you. She's gone. Okay. Done. <laughs> so she forgot to close the thing after um <clears throat> after we recorded reflux. So it was she's just sitting there quiet. <sighs> All right. You good? So I'm good. You, I'm good. You done? Yeah. Right. Uh, I also, because I started that in such a rush so that we can get that in, because I felt it was vitally important, uh, I forgot to actually think of what I was doing this week, so I have no idea. Anyway. Uh, hey, I Kenzie. guess I can... Yes. Hi. Intro. I'm Kenshi618, and I don't have one. Think of an intro while that was going on. I'm sorry, you cut out, Kenshi. Could you say that again? He doesn't I have an Kenshi. intro. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Zero's here. Hey, I'm Zero, and my face is now an emote in the Discord, and I don't know why. Because it can be. Yeah, that's a pretty good weird. reason. It's weird. It's the only reason anyone needs. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And Patience here. <sighs> Hello, everyone. It seems that I'm becoming increasingly known for laughing my head off too much. I hope it's not getting too annoying. Uh, your laughter brings joy to children. Yeah, I don't know how many children. I don't know how many children listen to this podcast. I don't think children, children should listen to us. But they really no. shouldn't. Not really. Yeah. Uh, also, Slicer isn't here because he is in the process of becoming Spider Man. Yeah, he he's got to get rid of that necrotic poison from that brown recluse. And so. then tomorrow he'll be all ripped, and then he'll shoot webs out of his wrists like Tobey Maguire. That, that's not how necrotic poison works yeah we're not we're not actually joking by the way i feel like i need to clarify that he totally got bitten by a reckless spider so uh i'm trying to be positive that's one heck of a way to do it with any luck he'll come out and be like like a, a necromancer or something that's yeah. that's what you can expect with necrotic poison so uh, his name is now spider ness necrotic spider-man can I can I fix that? <laughs> really gonna call him that? Yes, you are. She's already doing it. His cruelty knows no bad. You're really going to just rename him? <laughs> I'm being thorough. I did it in both. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's going to kill you, Casey. <laughs> it's okay. So how how has everybody's week been? I guess. <clears throat> <sighs> well, for those of you that do have no idea what's going on now in the Discord. Slicer this is now spiderness, apparently. Yep. In the recording one and in the public one. So everyone on Discord, that should now make sense to you. Yep. So uh Zero, you uh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh Zero, you should probably Yay, uh, so um I graduated. Yay! Yay! Congratulations. Very much. Now I just have to go back for more school. Uh, yeah, yeah, yay. To get my teaching credential. So. Yay. yay. But hey, I graduated and. That I is, got still, to, that is yeah. still a huge milestone out of the way. Mm hmm. I won't be getting my degree for a while because I had to extend my degree date so I could take extra classes for the credential program. But, um. <sighs> Yeah, uh, I did graduate to get enough credits and fulfill my requirements and everything. So, 
Uh, yeah, I did that, and afterwards I went to see Deadpool two. Yay! Uh, which it's a busy is, day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is really. Clearly, um, one was more important than the other. <laughs> yeah, Deadpool two is pretty important. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I went and I saw Deadpool two. Uh, very solid movie. Very good. Um, I would say that I, I do have some slight problems with it. I feel like it reused a few jokes, but like expanded on them. And I feel like it was at its strongest when it did more original stuff. So there's that, but it was a very funny movie and I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, Deadpool is one of my favorite characters. So I'm of course biased. But uh, if you liked Deadpool 1, you'll like Deadpool 2. If you really didn't like Deadpool 1, you're prob nothing. it's not going to change your mind or anything, I feel. It has a stronger plot and a better villain, but the style of humor is very much the same. I think it breaks the fourth wall more in this one than the previous one. So when the time... When the story was up, did they do enough? Like, I have some, this is a very silly, funny movie. I feel it could have benefited from being more serious in some parts. I don't. And, and I say that because uh, like there are some serious parts in here, but by the end, those serious parts don't feel like they mattered. And that's, I feel that would be a problem if, if they can't do the same thing, if they're going to make a third movie, which I don't know if they're ever going to, they probably are going to try though. Oh, they'll try. Yeah. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, might not be for any for everyone, but I enjoyed it. Uh, aside from that, I picked up a, a new Switch game, um, Wizards of Legend or something, where it's like a co-op roguelike, which would be fun if you know I had somebody to play with. Aside from my younger brother, who's constantly like, okay, so for some of my graduation presents, I got the SNES Classic. Was one of them. Um, so that has all the Super Nintendo classic games, or at least a good selection of them. And my brother's just been playing Super Metroid and hasn't really stopped. So, yeah, uh, we played some Super Mario World together, but, uh, as, as it appears, he kept dying. And when somebody dies in Super Mario World, you have to share lives. So, like... It ended up being a lot of life farming. I need to die in Super Mario. I don't think I could die in there if I started playing it now. Super Mario World? You yeah. Can... No, I mean, like, I can't lose in that game. The game is too easy for me. Okay, internet hard man. You have fun with that. I will. Try playing with the Super Nintendo controller. I, after... did. I did. Yeah, but I haven't played with, like... Like, I'm so used to other types of controls that it... It's weird to me, type of thing. So going back to it was a bit more. There's nothing, can, there's nothing I can say because it would not sound like an asshole. My suggestion, Kenji, try Super Kaizo World. I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming a ROM that. hack. Yeah, yeah, the ROM hack that's really hard. But basically, it's just, I, I've just been trying to get used to the physics again because although they're very similar between games. It's it's different kind of thing. Like I haven't played classic Mario in a in a good while, so yeah, trying to get used to that again. Hmm. Uh it's a good aside game. from that, yeah. Uh Wizards of Legend, Call of Rogue Like, it's pretty good. Um also got uh my brother got me a like a portable Genesis game system thing. And I never had a, a Sega Genesis, but this one apparently has a bunch of portable games on it. It's got a small screen, 
but I played Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine and <laughs> was happy. Yeah, yeah, I beat that one. It was. It got a bit tricky in the. Yeah, that, that was beat. a little hard for eight-year-old Casey to actually get his head around and actually do well in. But as I play it, I'm like a screw. Eight-year-old Casey was a scrub when it came to those games. My sister kicked ass at Tetris and Columns and all of that kind of shit. I was terrible, always. I am also terrible, but I try. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, it has a bunch of games. There's, like, the Shining Force, Golden Axe, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic, Sonic 2. Bunch of games on it. Does it have Sophie's? So- I don't know. Oh. I haven't checked. I don't know what that is. Uh, I didn't. Side scrolling uh, space ship shoot 'em up thing. I don't know. I know it has Altered Beast, and that's really all that you really need if you think about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. But yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, Really, it's it's been a bit hectic around here because uh, we sold our house and now we have to go through appraisals and inspections. And so we're going to be packing up on like Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I, I was not sure if I was going to be able to make it today because we are having uh, an appraisal uh, today. The appraisers can come by. Hmm. But we'll hopefully be wrapped up with more than enough time for me to get ready and get out of there. Yep. Get out of here. You get to find out what 20 years of your life is worth according to some person that comes in. I mean, it's not 20 years in this house at all. I don't know how long you're there. Like, also, you know, it's more how much your life has ruined the value of something that you've had for X number of years, however long it is. That's better. Yeah, yeah we, how much did you made, fuck this place up while you were here, basically? We've made some improvements, so it's According not like... you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's a, a big patio cover out there, but, you know, clearly visible from my window. But I, I guess we didn't make any improvements. Uh... <laughs> okay, here's the thing. My parents' house had a conservatory added to it while we were living there. It is falling off of the house. So it you might think it's an improvement. It might not actually be an improvement. You don't know yet. <laughs> well, ours is pretty sturdy. So, yeah. yeah. Room literally uh, falling off the back of our house. Zero's got that KFC F money, so he's got good... So yeah. with any luck, we'll be moving into the, uh, the new house. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh... Has a big pool, so now we can finally have a pool, and I can finally swim in it at night because I don't like to swim during the day because I get sunburned really easily. And I know it's not as easily as Casey, but I get sunburned pretty mm. easily. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, Casey. Because uh, I'm I'm expecting the uh, <laughs> I was expecting the whole. Oh, you get summer pretty easily, huh? Kind Not of thing. But really? I feel like you've said that before, so I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure you have. Zero, I'm coming yeah. to your new house. I'm going to trash it with a pool party. I'm too old for pool parties, but you know what? There's an exception to every rule. Okay, sure. You don't sound excited about this. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm... I'm I don't think it will happen, but sure. <laughs> I'll get to California somehow. I want to go swimming. I miss swimming. I'd like to learn how to swim. Can right, she? America landlocked mostly. So you no, don't sense. know how? Nope. My being taught how to swim consisted of the instructors throwing me into the pool and somehow making it over to them. That was not teaching me how to swim. So they thought you were uh, just going to excel. I mean, do everything else. They figured I'd flail over there or something, and I did. But they did teach me how to swim. 
That's a shame, actually, because swimming is pretty much just good all-around exercise. But... I mean, I'm pretty sure I could swim if I had to, but I've never had to because I'm usually in water that's, you know, shorter than me. Mm. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. You'd probably get a lot out of it. I think I was, like, back in when I was in, in like, a, like elementary school, um, there was a time when every like i think it was every other wednesday we'd go to a like a indoor swimming pool and we'd all just swim and get lessons and stuff yeah we did that too but again you live in california i live in admittedly the the midlands of britain but still also on an island yeah at at the time though i was living in arkansas oh okay that's a little weird then yeah i i've lived in in like California, Florida, Texas, Arkansas. I've not just lived in California my whole life. Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's how they say it. Over idiot. You trying to be American? No, I was Fine doing an Android 13 thing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, no one gets the uh, reference. How did you not get a, T- a TFS reference? I haven't seen that movie in a year. Okay. Yeah, TFS is going to be finishing up the Cell Saga with, like, a huge, what, like, two, three-parter thing? Yeah, I think they said it's about 90 minutes total. Yeah. Good. Wow. And and that might be the end of DBC. They're, they're still kind of ambivalent about continuing it, yeah. Yeah. They, like I said, might, so mm. we don't know. I think it depends on the success of their other projects, like Hells and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I wish the best for Team Four Star. They, they are pretty entertaining. Freaking, it's I've I realize now that I've been watching TBZ Bridge since like, I think it was like middle school. I don't know how long ago was that. I don't want to know because you're gonna make me feel old. So. It I'm started gonna find in like that. 2008. It started on that yeah. guy with the glasses, which was weird. Uh, 2008. Yeah, it opened 10 years ago. Yeah, it would have been like 13. Would have been just finishing up middle school. Oh, zero. I didn't need to know that. God. I just remember Team Four Star were once associated with Channel Awesome. Dodge that bullet, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Good for them. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess that's it for my week. Sorry for dominating a big chunk of time. Hmm. Bull party at zeros. Down. Swimming. You like provide, apple barbecue things. You'll provide the plane tickets as well. No. Come on, ask your dad if we give old Kenji a ticket out to California. We're we're gonna have our hands full trying to add improvements to the house and oh. stylize it. No no money to spare. I oh. guess the K- KFC's coffers aren't bottomless after all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Anyway, kind of running the KFC thing into the ground a little bit. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> um, Kenshi, you go next. All right. So I almost died on Saturday. Oh, for God's sake. But not really. I didn't really almost die. I made people think I almost died, which is the next best thing. So I was wrestling again, as you might have guessed, as I do every weekend. And let's see. At the end of this match, a dude pulled me off of the apron, which is the outside of the ring that's still elevated off the ground. Mm -hmm. And he pulled me off onto the ground, and he super kicked me in the face. And he did that, and I decided, huh, I'm only taking four bumps in this match. I might as well fall onto the ground here. So I did it, and I hit the ground. And everyone, like, gasped like I was dead, because apparently... It sounded like a watermelon getting dropped on the concrete floor. And that was awesome. Oh, come on. 
don't tell me that you didn't get back up again. I did not get back up again <laughs> when, I, when I saw what the reaction was. I thought you, but I thought you were supposed to be a Hercules mullet. No, I'm a professional wrestler. I'm tougher than the average person, but I can still be beaten by things. So mm. I took the super kick and I hit the ground and I heard the smack and I heard the audience and I was like, hmm, I'm going to milk this. And so I did. <laughs> That's that's got to be a tough decision there because if if, he, if 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 it seemed really really bad, they probably stop everything to make sure you're not actually dead. Here's the thing: the referee will check and make sure you're not really dead. <laughs> so as long as he knows I'm not dead, then it's fine. Yeah, you look up and wink at him. No, he actually came. He actually came out. Sounds like, dude, are you dead? And I'm like, no, I'm good. He comes <laughs> up. He checks. He comes up, he checks you, and he's like, he's dead! And you're, just, you're like, I'm alive! Plot <laughs> twist! So yeah, I did that. That was awesome. That'd uh, be a good heel turn. Just fucking pretend to be down when the referee comes over to check you, and then just fucking take on the referee when he turns around. <laughs> That'd be a heel turn. When you're gonna know. pop Something out of the like coffin, Kenshi? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Convince people I was dead. I was cool. And then next day, I blew my knee out in practice, as I do. It was a combination of heat and also uh, wear and tear from the last week of working out and training. And so your knee is a candle, then? I guess. It's like an engine. <laughs> uh, what are you, Ida? No. <laughs> Uh, unfunny jokes come right here. I call the unfunny jokes. Anyone starting to feel like we had all this energy at the beginning and then it just all sort of just oh, went into we are, one big We burst. are just dying. Yeah, we're dying. You're dying. I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, that happened as well. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I also saw the Deadpool. Yeah. The best part of that whole movie was the X-Force scene. That was great. Okay. You don't need to know about that because you're going to watch that movie. Either you are. No, probably not. No. I didn't the like whole, the first one. Sorry. The whole, X, the whole X-Force jumping in action scene was the best. They hired Terry Crews for that. That was great. Well, now you have my attention. <laughs> I can't spoil it because some people would actually watch it that actually listen to this. So I can't do it. But Zero knows what I'm talking about. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Let's see. I don't think I have much else, guys. Uh, yeah, it's almost dying. Hurting myself again. And Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool. Oh, and also updated a chapter of the story, which you Casey did. noticed. In, Casey noticed an error that slipped my grasp and it pissed me off. <laughs> Damn it, Casey can't get any criticism right. Everyone hates him when he gives it. No, 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 no. It was like, I. the only reason I didn't notice it is because spelling or a grammatical error. It was a complete lapse of, hey, of continuity that I was not paying attention to. Because I changed it while I was writing it, and I forgot to go back and change every part of it. Yeah, I've been there. And you caught the part that I didn't change. So, yeah, thanks for that. You're welcome. Other people, other people would not have been as nice if they caught that. Mm. Doesn't seem to matter most of the time. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, updates: Deadpool, uh, wrestling, convince people almost died. Yeah. Mm. Falling on the concrete floors. <clears throat> yeah, that old spiel. Yeah. So I. I guess I'll, I'll be ordinary. Yeah. I guess I'll go next. Um, so, yeah, speaking of uh, criticism and correcting people and all that fun stuff that I try to do and try to be nice about, I mentioned this once before, uh, I think, a few weeks ago. Uh, there was a My Hero Academia fic. I was like, hey, this maybe could have used a couple of revisions or maybe a look through on the premise. And. Maybe the approach to this wasn't so great, and got into a PM conversation of him basically dismissing everything I was saying without really thinking about it. 
I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, and he did pretty much what most people do when they have a problem taking criticism is they release a new chapter and talk about the criticisms they got and how the person yeah. that was giving it was such a piece of shit and an idiot and didn't know what they were talking about. My story is so great. I mean, it's one thing to give... It's one thing to be upset about receiving criticism, which is understandable even if it is constructive criticism. You can be upset, then you can get over it and process the advice and make everything perhaps better than it would have been otherwise. But when pride gets in the way, it just causes a mess. For well, you know, I think that this kind of behavior is as a result of the inherent problem in a lot of things like in on fan fiction is you get into a, a, a positive feedback loop of everybody praising your story that you begin to think, oh, yeah, majority of people like it, so I'm clearly not doing anything wrong and can't improve. Yeah, and the person that's saying otherwise is the hammer that needs to be nailed down. The nail that needs to be hammered down, rather. This thing about fan fiction. If most people think it sucks, they're just going to stop reading it. You're going to get mostly positive reviews, the reviews you get. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's kind of the inherent problem with any story that's successful is usually like, it, there's also something to be said for this being related to, you know, a certain maturity or lack thereof on the writer's part. So even if you're getting positive reviews, uh, like I'm never really satisfied with a lot of my stuff looking back on it. And I think that's the way it should be because that means I still think that I can improve. But when you get a lot of feedback that says, oh, you're doing fine, everything's fine, and you're constantly reassured <clears throat> that you don't need to improve, that's where this kind of behavior comes from. Yeah. I kind of just have a problem with, like, it was a private disagreement, and then... They decided, okay, I'm going to get the court of public opinion to agree with me. Because obviously they're going to agree with me. Yeah, it's, again, it's, it's, it's a thing that happens to me more often than I would like. <laughs> yeah, it, but, it, it's, mm. it is, I, their criticism hit home. I don't like that. Please reassure me and tell me I'm, I'm doing fine and that I don't need to change anything. Yeah. So, that was annoying, but, yeah. Ever. You try to help, someone tells you to piss off, you say, okay, but, you know, maybe, maybe think things through, in, in, if, you, if you want to, and then they just go and talk shit about you. Anyway, <clears throat> so. Um, I mean, I, just on the subject of, you know what, I'll wait, I'll wait. Um, so other things that happened on the, the week the third I've done hmm come on you gotta positive it up yeah I'm trying uh, <laughs> uh, got speakers set up finally because I am tired of wearing headphones literally all of the time as in, I have an abscess next to my ear, or whatever the term for it is, where you have a huge bump on your face next yeah. to your head, because you've been covering them for all of the time. Um, so, yeah, going to try and cut down on the headphone use, because that's probably not great. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, set up some speakers, which was an annoying process, because every time yeah. I thought I got it right, it turned out I needed to get something else to get them working. And, yeah. Once again, thankful for Amazon Prime for its one-day delivery. <sighs> but, yeah. So, overall, it's ended up with my, my setup being a little bit more convenient, probably. Like, I, can, I had to get a new um, power splitter. 
but I have a six-way one now that isn't old and busted, so I can just plug everything into that rather than having it split between like 18 different plug sockets everywhere all over the room, because that's not good for convenience or fire safety. So that's probably better. <clears throat> yeah. Um, also, the speakers are pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, I have still been plugging away at Kingdom Hearts, because that's Kingdom Hearts. Chain of Memories is still annoying, but I am mostly done with it. All I have to do is the thing that takes an unknown amount of time, because it's all based on random number generators and random chance. Farming enemy cards. Woo. Man, we were talking about Kingdom Hearts uh, in my D&D group before, and I was like, what if somebody made a keyblade that was just called Kingdom Hearts, and you'd flip a coin whenever you used it, and that would determine whether the damage was radiant or necrotic. Kingdom Hearts is light, Kingdom Hearts is darkness. <laughs> Which one is hmm. the truth? Yeah. So, but actually playing through the plot of Chain of Memories, it was, um interesting like that game actually does better if you have the time to process what it's actually about like if you just watch the film you get the cutscenes and it doesn't really have time to gel in what the game is actually telling you through the story <clears throat> but if you actually play through it it just all kind of gradually sinks in that hey this this game is basically gaslighting the video game. Yeah. It's actually kind of disturbing if you think about it for a little bit. <laughs> uh huh. I don't even know what gaslighting is. I can. Ooh. It's uh, a brainwashing technique where you tell someone that. Things that they know are true are actually not true. Like, you try and confuse them by saying, no, that's not how such and such a thing happened. Uh, it happened this way. And you're lying, but they trust you, so they believe you. And it, yeah, then as time so goes on and you keep doing this over and over again, they trust their memories and their thoughts less and yours more. Mm. Yeah, it's sort of like that. That's pretty much the whole plot of the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. With with some uh, psyche mumbo jumbo in there as well. Also, I watched the three and fifty whatever the fuck days. I'm just calling it days. I think we agreed on that. Um, uh, I watched that, and with that combined with Chain of Memories, Sora's psyche must be. Busted! You yeah. have no idea. Like, at the very least, he has multiple personality disorder, uh, identity dissociation. I assume at least one of those multiple personalities probably has gender dysphoria. So, <laughs> it's, yeah, dude is probably pretty messed up. In the head, at this point. And in the heart, I suppose, technically, because hearts are everything. <clears throat> yeah, the the stuff that Sora goes through is... It's it's pretty messed up. Mm. Like, there's a... Re like, it takes a... There's a reason Kingdom Hearts 2 is like... It, it takes some time to put Sora, like, Humpty Dumpty back together again. Yeah. A little, a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> So, yeah, um, I still can't find a way to get myself to like the just general plot of the game's uh, chain of memories onwards. So just, I feel like they really just kind of confused everything and messed everything up at that point a little bit. Um... I'm still not entirely certain what the difference between a nobody and a heartless is. You cut out. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference between a nobody and a heartless is. You because... cut out. Yeah. Okay, the difference between 
nobody, and heartless. The heartless are basically entities of pure darkness that form around a heart, basically. And nobodies are personalities, bodies, and minds. They're heartless. Okay. I thought the thing was the heartless are heartless because they don't have a heart. And nobodies are nobodies because they have the body and they have the soul and the mind, but they don't have a heart. This is a very deep rabbit hole from which there is no escape. It is also the crux of why I can't get my head around any of the story of any of this, because this whole thing... Like, Zoro was a heartless, and then he stopped being a heartless... But he also has a nobody, even though his body is still his body, and his spirit is still his spirit, and his mind is still his mind, but he still has another copy of it somewhere for some reason, and... Well, to be fair, Roxas didn't remember very much. Roxas pretty much didn't have any memories of his own past life. It's... My understanding of it is... So Sora becomes heartless. At that moment, his uh, nobody is formed somewhere else. He gets his heart back, and which doesn't usually happen, but he does. And then he comes back, but then his nobody still exists because that was never technically taken care of because he was brought back in an unconventional way. Is how I understand it, which creates some massive plot holes in certain areas and it's all confusing like okay. the minute they introduced the nobodies everything yeah. became a lot more complex because the way, way that that sounds doesn't... like the heartless that sora became shouldn't have been reformed as sora afterwards it should have just stayed as the heartless and then roxas should have been the one that got his heart back and thus became new sora essentially is how that it probably is. should have worked if they'd actually planned this out from the start and then there's the dream drop distance solution which is if you kill the nobody and you kill the heartless the somebody is reunited as and reborn what yes oh, so if you eliminate the nobody and you eliminate the heartless then you get the somebody again i give up i give up i give up it doesn't make sense <laughs> Exactly. Matter. So stop trying to go down this rabbit hole because there's no bottom and the hole is actually square shaped. What? Well, of course it's square shaped. Because <laughs> it's square and it's actually look pretty funny. <laughs> <sighs> well done. Well done. That's straight up a good joke. Well done. Good job. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, so I'm just fucking trying to collect all the enemy cards because that's a pain in the ass. Just constantly farming for those. And yeah, but getting progress in that and just kind of listening to Critical Role while I'm doing it, that's now my new Critical Role game because it takes so fucking long I can get through multiple episodes before I'm done. Are you uh, caught up? Uh, I'm on episode... Hang on, I've got the episode up somewhere. I'm on episode... Uh, I'm right at the tail end of episode 16, so I'm like four episodes behind. Okay. There's been a lot of a lot of things happening, so... Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me know when you're caught up, because there, there's some backstory stuff that's been happening recently, so... Hmm. All right, so... Um, yeah. For Kingdom Hearts, don't get too uh, focused on the 13 aspect of it, or else... <laughs> yeah, that was also a thing that was really weird. Like, you get the <laughs> you get the scene with uh, Roxas saying, Hey, why are you abandoning Shion? Who, by the way, I like Shion. She was actually kind of cool. Uh, way better than Nominee. Anyway, uh, he's like, why are you abandoning her? And uh, Xemnas is like, well... Look how many chairs there are in this room. There will only ever be 13. 
Bearing in mind this is at like day 300, which is about 300 days after like six of their members have been killed. So, you know, maybe hey, make a number what? six or something. Hey, guess, <laughs> guess, guess what? The, the, they all come back. Oh, okay. Actually, not all of them. We haven't seen Mr. Dancewater dance yet. Or he... the card guy. Wait. Or Marley or Luxine. Ah, oh, damn it. What? I like Loxine. I want to see her again. She was great. <laughs> given given the stuff we've seen in in Kingdom Hearts three, which are characters that are supposed to be dead but came back for no reason, I think everybody's back for no reason. Well, I am interested in seeing more of uh, Demix Lux or Marluxia and Larxine. They had interesting characters. God, yes. She was and... such a bitch. And it was so great. <laughs> I, I'm i just really excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 because I want to go to Toy Story land. Just, yeah. My childhood. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I did uh, actually see uh, the, toys, uh, the Toy Story, the Kingdom Hearts 3 footage uh, from the new reveal. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. It looks really, really nice. Yes, oh, yeah. please. <laughs> so. Like we, we, we can give it a lot of crap for the story, but it, it is a very beautiful game, and it has lots of, uh, lots of fun uh, visits with well-known characters, and the gameplay is pretty fun in itself. So. Yeah. And little did you know, the final boss was truly Sora all along. Probably. Something like that. Well, in fairness, the first boss is technically Sora all along. Like in Dark Side. Anyway. That's me. Pretty much done. I think. So. Patient. How's your week been? Are you good to talk? Because you're muted and stuff. Yeah. Uh... Well, first, on the subject, going back to the bit about the relationship with, between reviewers and uh, writers of the story, have you ever had reviewers yourself that... Have you ever seen that old shirt, be careful or you'll end up in my novel? Uh... No, I haven't. But well, I, get the, I get the intent, and yeah, like, writers putting reviews and critics in their stories. Like, there was the the one guy that put, uh, I think it was Siskel and Ebert in this. It was the Godzilla one. Uh, the 1997 Godzilla. They put Siskel and Ebert as the mayor and assistant mayor of New York, I think it was. Mm. And that they're kind of shitty at their job because um, they didn't like, uh, was it Stargate? I think it was Stargate, the film. Yeah. So I'm familiar with the concept, yes. Mm. Well, I just ask because there can, it would, it at least that there aren't, uh, I'll just put it this way. There can be a lot of flames out there, but most of them can just shake them off. They don't really matter. You don't really have to go as far just writing a store, a character into your story just to be your punching bag just for leaving you a bad review. Unless, of course, it's something like this. Oh boy, he's posted some text. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. From word one, that goes in a direction that it doesn't need to go in. Hmm. These were posted on my girlfriend's story by the same... And... Oh, my God. This person is human trash. Oh, yes. You can write, I'll give you that. 
said in the prayer paragraph following you're just further proof that women have no business writing mm-hmm. if anything justified writing yeah this is yeah yeah so the internet is a fun and friendly place no it's there's always going to be jokes like this and that just really irritates me mm-hmm. all right not keeping that in sight any longer than i should yeah, aside from that cool. yeah that's yeah. Yeah, that was a C dropped in there, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, to make it clear what one word I was talking about. It was a C. Yeah. Okay, so aside from that coming up in my memory because of what we were discussing, those were posted a little bit while back. Yeah, this last week has been eh, pretty uneventful. I've been making some notable progress with my uh, weightlifting at the gym. Cool Just, beat. Yeah, about half an hour every day, no, every Tuesday, I head up to the gym, meet with a personal trainer. My parents are paying for his time, and I appreciate it greatly. So I'm not losing weight anymore, but I am losing fat. So. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> so, it's making good progress and it's visible. So, that's really good. I'm so looking just... forward to buff patient. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah. For now, just get used to the work. Because uh, if you want to lose more fat at this point, uh, switching to more cardio work would be effective. But, I- I'm aware. Important. Yes. And I am I am doing some cardio, and I've seen a marked improvement in that too, just from a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, if you're anything like me, who absolutely hates cardio, then, eh, I don't know what your opinions on it are though. I absolutely despise it. I can be patient. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. You should have seen that one coming. I, I, I really should have, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so aside from that, been focusing on games lately. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses for PS2, return to that, trying to complete my collection. Not easy. Hmm. Not easy. Hundreds of cards. I have not yet returned to playing more Chain of Memories. I've completed my card collection down to bonuses. I'm jealous. Uh, are, are you aware of what you need to do to get all of the cards, Casey? Finish the game twice, effectively? Yes, and then there are some bonus uh, I did the 358 if... ones, yeah. Not and... just those. Oh, and the ones that you get in... I think it was floors 11, 12, and 13 in the bonus rooms, the bounty rooms. Yeah. 10, 11, and 12. Really? I thought it was 11, 12, and 13 because those are the last three. It was Twilight Town, and it was Destiny Islands, and it was. Okay. No, yeah, you're right. 12, 13, yeah. My mistake. Okay. So I've, you got I've, been looking at, I've been looking at guides for all of this because it's such a pain in the ass. Okay. Any luck with the white mushroom, uh, black fungus, and barrel spider? I just got the white mus- mushroom uh, before I went to bed last night. So Great. In times of actually being awake, I got that like two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it was not as annoying as I was expecting it to be. It didn't take too long. I mean, for me, once I started on the strategy that I read online, I got it the first try. Warpinator. Yep. Yeah. Or warp, rather. But the warp doesn't seem to work on the black funguses. I got the black funguses just by doing black funguses because I wanted bounty cards. So I got lucky with that one. Hmm, that's fair. The barrel spider will be the tricky one, though. Barrels I got farming in Agrabah for other things. So also lucky. 
You've got uh, the hardest ones out of the way, then. Technically, yeah. It, I mean, it's all random chance for all of it, so it's subject have to you debate. Been make, but... Have you been making use of the Neo Shadow card? No. It's... When you have the Neo Shadow card in play, enemy's health, every enemy's health, constantly decreases. Huh. That would have been really nice to have when I was trying to get the green whatever musical Back turn it was. Thank you. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that would have been really nice because by the point I was trying to farm that card, half of my key cards were magic based. <laughs> so <laughs> that was fun. Mm -hmm. Every other hit healing the damn thing. Fucking kind of fun. Yeah, those at least they can't hurt you. True. Yeah. So, uh, King Kingdom Hearts aside, I've also Pikmin three. I'm still focusing on the mission modes. I've cleared all the collect the treasure ones, and now I'm working on the defeat all of the enemies ones and getting platinum rank for all of them. Got six out of fifteen done so far, so that's nice. Also download because I was feeling nostalgic. Downloading what? Sorry, cut out. Super Mario World. Oh, yeah. You too. Damn it. It is a good game. It's a good it game. Is. I played it in like 2008, so I was well yeah. after the fact. It's still a good game. It is nostalgic and it is wonderful. It's always fun to go back to it every now and again. Yeah, that's. I'm just saying, not as nostalgia. I didn't play that shit when I was a kid. I played it in 2008 <laughs> for the first time. That was a good game. Yep. And I'm looking forward to seeing if I can send it this time. I'm not sure I ever did before. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Um, I've gotten to the forest of oh. illusion at this point. So, not too much more to go. And I've been playing Luigi for the first time. Yeah, the difference is notable. Pretty interesting. <sighs> Work has been doing pretty well. Went to the hospital for a straight day. For a what, 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 what? You cut out again. <laughs> I all, all, got, all I got was you went to the hospital first the other day. Stroke. You had a stroke? She had a lot of smaller ones that were... Who, who had a stroke? It's because we don't my know, manager. because you cut out. My manager. Oh, okay. Is she okay? She is now. She should be resting at home. She's not. She's back at work on medication. Hmm. She works very, very hard. Commendable sometimes. <laughs> there are circumstances when it's not. There have been... There are those among the higher ups who are still concerned, and those among the workers who are still concerned. But if, as long as she's feeling to it, and she is, that if we see her trying to do too much, we should inform her and see about getting her help. So she's not being unreasonable, mm. just not letting it slow her down unless it absolutely has to essentially. Hmm. Also experienced a particularly stressful day wherein I made a few mistakes that had me on the verge of a panic attack on Friday. Hmm. I think it was Friday. Might have been Thursday. In any case, it wasn't good. Pleasant at all. But it's over now. So... Also trying to be more frugal with my funds because I really, really need a new computer and I need to save up for some other things. It's not going to be long before I move out of the house and need a place of my own. So need to start saving up a decent amount of savings for a down payment on a house or an apartment or something. Mm. So we'll see what happens. Yep. 
No shame in renting, by the way. I know, I know. <laughs> Housing market is bullshit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that might just be in England. I don't know whether that's the same in the US. Zero, you would know. <laughs> Zero's not What? 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 What would I, ha- I said the housing market is bullshit right now, but then realized I only know oh, that's yeah, true for England. Yeah. Is that everywhere? Um, you don't know. We're exiting the high season right now. So it's, it's going to get a little more affordable soonish. It, it's it more, like, more like there's going to be a lot less buyers. So, yeah. So essentially, yes. Hmm. Less buyers know. means the sellers have to settle a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we were able to get the house that we wanted uh, for cheaper because uh, they were on the market for too long. And as a result, now there's not a lot of people coming by, uh, even though they keep trying to relist and they really don't want to sell the house to us. <laughs> what a shame. Uh, we have our claws in them now. <laughs> okay, I mean, you should probably buff out those marks afterwards so you can make the house nice again. But sure. yeah, don't don't scratch up the post like that cat girl did in the anime. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna get that joke for like a no week. Get that for like just two weeks <laughs> if they even watch it. <laughs> they should you know, watch didn't... it. By the way. When Etotama comes up as the anime reflux, you should watch that anime and you should watch our review of it. It's pretty great on both fronts. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. We- uh, that's that's yeah. next week. That's next Wednesday. So it's pretty great. All right, that's about it. But I do have a recommendation this week. I probably recommended it, before, but not for a long time. So yeah. I need a bit to type it out to make sure that I don't ramble on and on again. Okay. Anyone else have any recommendations? I don't like. I don't necessarily think this is a recommendation per se, but I went diving deep into um, the SCP Foundation. Uh, I don't know what that is. So, secure, contain, protect. It's this whole fictional um, foundation, shadowy government organization thing. Uh, that people created as like a a fun collaborative fiction project to make a bunch of these fictional eldritch entities uh, that are beyond understanding um, that all have these various rules and stuff. Um, I went diving into that after I saw a a video called, um, I can't remember the the, the YouTuber, but they do a series called Down the Rabbit Hole. And so I was watching a few of those, and they did one on the SCP Foundation, and I was like, I'm pretty sure Tropers recommended this to me like 17,000 times, so I'm going to go check it out, and I've been enjoying it. Some of the entries are like genuinely good, Um, others not so much, uh, but it's interesting to kind of see that auditor aspect of fiction where it's... This thing, you can't understand it, and it's beyond understanding. And the way they do it can sometimes be very interesting. Yeah, mm. I, I've been enjoying that. So if you have a chance, check that out. I'd recommend going through by, like, probably rating uh, in terms of which ones you go through first, because the more light ones typically tend to be the better put together ones. So, just start with that and then branch off from there wherever you go. Uh, I've been enjoying it. Hmm. Okay, anyone else recommend Yes, y'all? You know I don't. I know you don't. I mean, now that's a precedent. A precedent that I don't have or... Uh, Recommendation. Mm. It's rare when I do. Mm. Um, the days are yeah. over. So, I was just looking up the voice actress for uh, Loxine for Kingdom Hearts. So, if that character comes back, her voice actress doesn't seem to be doing anything much. So, 
Last IMDb credits are 2017, 2013, and then I think 2011. So, hmm. hopefully, I hope. How's the comment, patient? Just about done, I think. All right, uh, uh, made the link first. Here we are. Okay. My recommendation is Supernova. One Piece AU, you'd be surprised it's a One Piece fic. This Sorry. story has a lot of uh, common things that you see in stories where people are just trying to make when they're just going on a power trip, if you will. Yeah. Overpowered Luffy, different Devil Fruit Luffy, Harem Luffy, death of any named character, not a possibility, not an impossibility. And somehow it does it well. Yep. His fruit is Elogia, and the funny thing is that he's trained so well with other aspects, with his just physical fighting, that he almost never has to use his powers. You could go through a, a good part of the story and forget that he has a devil fruit to begin with. Yeah, that's not necessarily because he prefers to use the, you know, just standard fighting styles. It's more his devil fruit is actually too destructive. That story title is literal yeah but thus far it's basically focusing on him going in and putting his crew through the kind of training that will bring them up to his level or close to it so no, no, I think about it I guess it has that in common with uh, viridescent because that was a whole thing in that story that Deku's power was too powerful so hmm Sorry, I interrupted. Nah, that was basically it. I just bring it up because the story updated recently after not yeah, updating for more than a year. Yeah, so. I really like this story too. <laughs> yeah. So is that all your recommendation? Ben? 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 Yeah. Yes, just one per week is what I'm going for. Yeah. If I can manage that. Somehow I stopped making sounds in the middle of that. Well, I started just making sounds and stopped mm. words. Anyway, Zero, do you want to do the Patreon read out while we close out? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, sorry, it's taken so long to get this done. Uh, graduation, things happened. I was unable to be here um, for the full time, but here we go. So, for the month of April, Hugh F. Joe 8, good old Hugh, uh, donated $20. Thank you, Hugh. Yeah. And seriously, <laughs> you have like the highest lifetime amount of Patreon donations. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Bless you. Because you're tight. Also, um, we haven't heard from you in a while. So, yeah. say hi. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're always welcome on the podcast if you want to jump back in for a, uh, you know, claim your award. Um, we also had uh, Ex Nativo, uh, Nativo, or Minty, as we've been calling him now. Minty. Fresh. It was Ninty, and then now he's just Minty in the Discord. Well, it was Ex Nativo, and then it was Nintivo, and then it was Ninty, and then it was Minty Freshest. Yeah, so now he's Minty. I uh, donated twenty dollars. Thank you, uh, Ethan F. Threw in ten dollars. Thank you for that. Again, <clears throat> always get in contact with us if you want that uh, twenty five hundred word commission. Uh, Troper five dollars. Still going strong with those donations, dude. Thank you. Palmer BCM, one dollar. Hey, every dollar counts. Yeah. Good luck with the um, training for. I think it was communications he was in. Yeah. I yeah. also realized, Palmer, you will never <laughs> defeat. Me. Greek guy donated a dollar. Thank you very much. Um. Also, Max Dole donated one dollar. Thank you. And the Crossbrain donated ten dollars. Yay! Yeah. Thank Pleasure you, Crossbrain. And thank you, Patient. 
uh, with that, that's our uh, donations. Uh, remember that if you want to donate, uh, it's a Patreon, $20, and you can get a guest spot on the podcast. $10, you can get a commission or other things. Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty much yeah. just all we actually just, <laughs> ended yeah. up doing with that. We sh- I say we, we you, Zero, should probably update that so <laughs> we uh, get some of that. It's probably a good idea. We could know. add more rewards or something, but honestly, I I don't know what else we would add. A glossy 8x10 of Kenji618. Would you be willing to ship those out? $25. <laughs> Didn't That's answer the question, but sure. <laughs> would you would you be willing to ship those out? There are people that do that. It's not Casey or Zero or Patient or Slicer. I mean, <laughs> I mean Spider. So, are you willing to ship those out? <laughs> well, not now since you got rid of all my options. I I can I can make it a twenty five dollar reward for an eight by ten of Kenshi. Hand drawn. Hand drawn and signed. Hand drawn by whom? Kenshi. I want stick figures, Kenshi. Uh, Isn't an 8x10 usually a portrait? Shut up. It's a lifelike portrait. I'm drawing myself. Because only I can get all the perfect details of my figure and face. I look forward to when you fail to draw a complete circle and just have a like a dent in your skull because of it. But it's be- it, Kenshi made it so it's perfectly accurate. Exactly. The dent is there because of his... <laughs> because of his fighting. The hmm. dent is for wisdom. <laughs> Harvey Dent, vote now. Oh, okay. Anyway. So, that's it for, for Patreon stuff. If you, you know, Patreon, it's in the links, hmm. I think. <clears throat> Just, uh, yeah, come by and, and donate if you feel so inclined. Yeah. We always say that, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, thanks everyone for listening. Uh, the podcast episode, whatever number it is, 221, probably something like that. Uh, 2 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 2 yeah. Uh, if you want to get in contact with us, you can do so through the YouTube channel through the comments, through uh, the the. This, the word escaped me for a second there. The Discord, the public Discord that we have, it's in the description. Um, as Zero said, please join on Patreon if you feel so inclined, if you want to support the project and stuff and all the stuff we do here. Um, once again, thanks everyone for listening to the. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Casey can ever find his word. Casey is mushroom out now. Hat the pat at the pata. Tata patata patata.